Dr. Joe here to talk a little bit about uh, the GLP-1 agents. There's been one released today, for example, and uh, uh, they're all pretty good. Uh, we have three out before today, and we're going to get uh, not just another one to make it four. We're going to get one more. It'll be five. So are they safe? Are there things that should be specially worked about? Uh, and I would say they're very safe because, as I say, I've done it for about five years. <clears throat> and what we found is that almost everybody we've been in, when we use it and really work on it hard, and that means different things for everybody present, but we actually grow new cells, beta cells, the cells that produce insulin. We started long ago when in the uh, Diabetes Care uh, Journal, this was about five years ago, and we found that everybody who were taking the GLP-1 agents were in a place where they gradually grew all their insulin to normal, that's measured by C-peptide, and halfway through getting everything normal, they stopped having to check their glucose in any way. This was also done for type 2 as well at that particular juncture based on a lot of things we had there. Everything has changed a little bit and will probably change some more. We have new agents and we have lots of things we're going to look at. A new vaccine, a reverse vaccine that will get rid of diabetes in type 1, maybe type 2. I've used it in type 1 in a lot of people. Uh, we've had situations where they got a little low on their sugar because it was a little different than they were using and it just made a tiny mistake and the sugar got low. And there are certain things that you should do if you're not eating right and what have you, no matter what you're taking, whether it be a GLP-1 agent or something else. We see no pancreatitis. We see no people have any other uh, particular situations. Some people just say, I don't respond as well as that woman down the street. Well, we work on that. We don't know exactly why there will be a differentiation, except we know now there are multiple situations where we have multiple diabetes kinds of things, not just one, not just two, but other things that we know as uncommon and reasons why they work better. We have about nine people who don't have diabetes anymore. We don't know how to classify them. They're twos, they're ones in lots of situations. So the ability to have a whole change in the perspective where you have a lot of other new things you never thought about before, like fatty livers and a lot of uh, neuropathies or things like that that seemingly came from nowhere. So it's a great drug. And I finished a big thing from Yale not long ago, which said this thing is the best thing since sliced bread. They put everything you need to know in one page rather than the other 15 pages they learned about the diabetes meeting that happened this summer. Use it. It's your time.